Hello and welcome back to another reaction. Today I'm reacting to the Beatles again. So I just reacted to Let It Be by the Beatles. Obviously, duh. <laughs> so I just reacted to them and I was so inspired that I said, you know what? I intended to originally react to this song first, but end up reacting to Let It Be. If you have not seen the story of how I end up I ended up reacting to Let It Be. Go check the other video, it's there. So, I'm gonna be reacting to A Day in the Life. Before we get into today's reaction, I wanna give a huge shout out to my very first patron, Mr. Jim Hall. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Now, on to our reaction. Let's go. You, I, I'm hearing this. Oh, by the way, it, it's kind of raining outdoors, so you're gonna hear some rain. Um, I was hearing the guitar in the left and the um, was it was was it the bass in the right? Ouch! It was left uh, headphone, right headphone. I was hearing two different sounds. I thought that was an excellent start to a, a great video. I'm assuming. Let's go. Yes. About a lucky man who made the grade. And though the news was rather sad, well, I just had to laugh. I saw the photograph. He blew his mind out in a car He didn't notice that Yo, this is so trippy This is so trippy This is so freaking trippy That the lights have changed A crowd of people stood and stared They'd seen his face before Nobody was really sure if he was on the house of home. I saw a film today, oh boy. The English army had just won the war. Listen, do people still make music like this? Like, the. This probably took a lot of brain power to come up with. Not the fact that we're hearing two different sides of the instruments coming from left and right. But the side that the lyrics is talking about such an impactful story, uh, like war and all these different things, like what? And then we hear this phenomenal harmonizing kind of, you know, you have the guitar and you have the bass and you have the drums on this side. And it's just like playing together. Like right now for me, I, I'm kind of fighting, fighting with myself to find one particular attention um i can't do it yet i'm not at that level where i could just like sit down and listen and listen to everything i think this will take at least three listens for me to, to fully conceptualize what i'm viewing and what i'm listening to um it is just brilliant and i don't think my mind can really decipher what is the extent of this with one listen Crowd of people turned away, mm. but I just had to look, having read the book. I love to turn you. sorry i had to stop that was insane i didn't even finish listening to it that was that taunting that was haunting taunting music this part the beatles what no there's no way what Woo. 
That is something. That is something. Oh, oh my gosh. I just got goosebumps. Oh, even the visual impact. Like people started looking distorted, like one eye popping out, one nose looking weird. Like, oh, oh. Uh, uh. it's definitely giving that haunting kind of I cannot comprehend this song I am not I'm not there yet I'm not there yet even with the clock the shaking oh woke up fell out of bed dragged a comb across my head mm. found the way downstairs and drank a cup and looking up I noticed I was late you see, the entire uh, vibe of this song just changed. It, it went to like two different, two different aspects already. We started off basically with our introduction, trying to understand the context of, of the song, right? It started off, oh, I, oh my gosh. How do I comprehend this? Oh. I'm a coat and grabbed my hat, made the bus in seconds flat. On the way upstairs and had a smoke And somebody spoke and I went into a dream song is freaking trippy I'm not even gonna lie I'm not even gonna lie it's a trippy song man it's a trippy song like you have to be on a different level to be able to comprehend this song in just one listen because ain't no way you're gonna sit down listen to this Beatles song called a day in the life and be like yeah I could tell you everything about the song there's no way this probably might take me a while to decipher because huh Interesting. I read the news today, oh boy. Four thousand holes in Blackburn, Lancashire. And though the holes were rather small, they had to count them all. Now they know how many holes it takes to fill the Albert Hall. Haunting, it's taunting me. I, it, it, it's a phenomenal piece that I. Whew, okay, we can do this. say about this my gosh wow want to say a lot but honestly I just I, I don't know what to say I I've tried while listening to the song to comprehend it
but to be honest, I don't think I can. I I I don't like this is the first time I think I've listened to a song and I don't think I can comprehend it extensively. Um between trying to listen to the lyrics and trying to to listen to the instruments and trying to not be haunted by the taunting right um i got lost during the way and it's such an exceptional piece that i it's it's i think it's made for people who (laughs) for for people who want something so exceptional and they despite listening to it will go back to it a hundred times because once is never is never enough with this song i think and i think in like another hundred years we will still be coming back to it because we can't completely comprehend what the beatles were thinking when they did this song (laughs) right so i think You could listen to this song like a bunch of times and unless you have that kind of mind <laughs> you will not be able to comprehend for me personally i was thinking that this song represented um maybe a time during the 70s or 60s or 80s whereby there was a lot of listen i'm not from that time so i don't know everything and i i wasn't born in the states or <laughs> i didn't grow up in the states either so I can't say what was happening back then but maybe there was some kind of war happening maybe there was some kind of tragedy happening maybe people were dying right maybe people were dying and they (laughs) the Beatles noticed that and they wrote a song about it and it was so I, I can't say. I can't say. Mm-mm. I tried. I can't say. Um, but you tell me. You tell me in the comment section what this song talks about. I think I would have... I would be so... I would appreciate it so much if you could dive into this song. Break it down for me. Break it down in the plainest English for me. So I can understand. And so I can listen to this again and, and figure out what the Beatles were referring to in their music this time around. Um, of course, I'm gonna go listen to this a couple more times to try to like, first, I think the first listen is going to mo- mostly just be about the instruments happening because I was just focused on too many different things and that did not work out because I was not able to comprehend the song. Um, the second listen, I'll probably listen to it just to Listen to the instruments again, the instrumentals again. Um, focus more broadly on the instruments because it happened so strangely that, as I said, the way they they um, made this song is where instruments complemented the instruments. So you gotta listen to it a bunch of times to actually figure out what's going on. And the third listen will be focused mostly on the on the on the lyrics, right? But I had so much fun with this track. I am just so disappointed that I wasn't able to figure out, you know, because it was so intense and it was so sad, but it had so many layers to it that I wasn't able to comprehend it like that. But you let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so support me on Patreon if you can, you know. Don't forget to like this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Until next time.